Okay, so I've just had some great news uh, from my comment section. Proctologic let me know a couple of hours ago that PinOS now supports official USB boot. And uh, it's also working really well. This is an 8 gig Raspberry Pi 4, so it'll work with all the Raspberry Pi 4s. Uh, and I'll zoom into screen capture so I can show you what the interface is like and the improvements that have been made. Okay, so obviously the main thing is that this operating system now boots straight from USB, so you don't need an SD card at any point. All I did was copy the file straight over to the root of my USB and, uh, and it just boots straight away. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it, it supports Wi-Fi. I'm using Wi-Fi at the moment and that's one of the first things it gets you to set up. Uh, and then as I flick through, you can see what operating systems you can choose. So you can see here on the first page uh, the 32-bit versions of Raspberry Pi OS. Gen 2 64-bit Linux is on there, which is great. Uh, Nspawn 64, I don't really know that one very much, but I'll have a look at that. Uh, then we've got Media, so we've got Libre Elec. Minimal, so we've got the lighter operating systems, so Arch Linux, Diet Pi, uh, a light version of Gen 2 Linux. Utility, uh, then we've got Games, so we've got RetroPi 4.6, which is the latest version. Batasera is on there as well, which is another great uh, retro gaming solution and also lacquer which is uh, retro arch and if we go to testing this is really interesting and I didn't expect this uh, there's certainly a lot more operating systems than when I last looked at pin OS and I've definitely favored Berry Boot in the past uh, especially as you can get a lot of test images from Berry Boot but it looks like a lot of work has been done on this and obviously uh, it's being updated um, but to see the 64-bit version of uh, Raspberry Pi OS on there which is an excellent operating system, I've been using that a lot. Uh, there's an Ubuntu there as well, uh, so Raspbx 4. Uh, it'd be nice to see uh, Ubuntu 20.04 on here, that would be a really good one to see on there. And also Debian 64, so there's loads of choices. I think the first one I'm going to put on there is Gen 2 64 just to test it. Oh, it needs a lot of the... Uh... No, actually I'm going to go for something smaller than that just to be able to see that it properly works. But I'll cover this in more depth uh, when I've got a bit more time. But I just wanted to get it out there. And thanks very much for that comment, uh, letting me know. Well, let's just put on, let's put Ubuntu on there, Raspberry X4. So that's only four gig. So I'll install that. So this will install the selected operating systems to dev SDA. So basically what it does, uh, is it uses your single USB device, so this could be an SSD or a USB stick or an SD card in a USB adapter, and it allows you to multi-boot. So once you've installed several operating systems on there, you'll get a boot screen that will allow you to switch between different operating systems. And obviously if you've got a very fast USB stick uh, or an SSD drive, you're going to get great performance, but also a selection, so you can have your games on there, uh, your light operating systems, your full operating systems, 64-bit, 32-bit, so a really great addition. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll go into this in more detail in another video. Please like and subscribe.